South African Safari presents an incredible opportunity to hunt a variety of planes game. But first, though, we took the Mossberg Patriot rifle to Green Top Sporting Goods where the staff expertly added the GPO scope. We were bringing a variety of Hornady dangerous game and planes game ammunition on the hunt. Zeroing the rifle and then practicing was a big priority. Excuse me, 250 grain GMX. 250 grain GMX bullets were preferred for the smaller antelope we might hunt, and larger 270 grain or even 300 grain rounds might be used for larger antelope. Finding an old sable bull, an iconic African plains game antelope was a top priority. My safari team had earlier spotted just such an old bull, well past its breeding years, and essentially booted from the herd. That's the bull we hope you get, they said. We spotted the bull in a thicket late in the afternoon on the first day of hunting. We took up the track to the bush, eventually spying him at the edge of a large filpid field. Impala were grazing nearby. His jet black fur, incredible heavy horns, were near mesmerizing. Impala, just in front of the sable, started running right as I was squeezing the trigger. It momentarily distracted me. It was a bad, bad rookie mistake, and I had all night to ponder this African version of buck fever, but I was thankful the animal hadn't been wounded. It was late in the afternoon. We were just about to call it a day when the sable made the mistake of standing up in its secluded thicket. Yes. The plan this time was to quietly disembark, then swiftly parallel the bull's path through the bush, trying to get ahead of the large animal. Maybe we'd intercept it at the next clearing. It worked. We all arrived at the dirt trail together. In a couple seconds, it was over. Get out of the zone. The moment, to be honest, was a bit overwhelming. I almost felt a kinship to the soul sable. Well done, Both of us have most of our days well in the past. The African sun was dropping quickly to the horizon, and I was thankful. Yeah. Hey, we're here in South Africa hunting again with Philip Bronkhorst Safaris, Peter Taylor, professional hunter. Took a great bull kudu last time we were here. Oh, yes, sir. And now we've got this magnificent sable, ancient sable, huge sable. This sable has so much gray in his mane, it rivals the gray in my beard. <laughs> I mean, this is a <laughs> tremendous animal. We've, we've been hunting him for three days. Yes, sir. We hunted him in three days. We had a couple of good stalks on him, but he had just had the upper end. Peter's being generous. I missed him at 100 yards on the first day. And I think I took my eye off him a little bit, watched the impala bolt, and just pulled the shot. But we've been looking for him. And today, just as the beautiful sunset was going down in the South African sky, we we were on our way out almost. Really. Yes, sir. Well, we were actually on our way out and we spotted the bull. He was light up in some thicket with the full moon we had here a couple of days. And then, um, luckily, we were unfortunate enough 
to track him until there was a clearing and we could put you on the shooting stick, sir. Yeah. He, and well done. Yeah, thank you, thank you. The yeah. Mossberg really performed yeah. very, very well. I must the Mo Mossberg Patriot 375 Ruger. We were using 300 Hornady dangerous game rounds, the uh, DGX rounds, the expanders, and uh, all it took was one shot, hit him high lung, he dropped pretty much where he stood, and, and that was about it. Uh, everything performed very well. He stood up in his thicket, and then we kind of skirted him and went all the way across, intercepted him coming out on the other side, and uh, thanks again. Well done, sir. Great, great day. Broncos Safaris offers relaxing fishing and sightseeing trips on a nearby river. Lunches are grilled on the boat. Even the bass cooperate. A blessed buck is often one of the first animals a person hunts on a South African safari. But I passed on the chance in 2015, the first time I traveled to Africa. The key with these herd animals is getting in range for a comfortable, clear shot. This old bull finally gave us that opportunity. Like a lot of old bulls, this one was a bit of a bully. He never knew what happened. Gemsbok are, perhaps, the most iconic of the South Africa Plains game animals. They're athletic, and also one of the first species targeted by most first-time Africa hunters. Peter and I scoured the huge ranch, looking for a mature bull. Finally, with the late morning sun climbing high, a substantial herd moved into the open. Peter identified the bull we should target. Several long minutes later, after a perfect quartering away shot, the hunting portion of the safari was over. We watched as a parade of Gemsbach exited to our left, then approached the down bowl. After a few photos, we were soon heading back to camp. We then filleted the meat. It's said to be delicious, but that's a story for another video. Maybe one we'll call The Taste of Africa. Until then, be safe, be thankful, and share your bounty with family, friends, and those in need.